What's up everybody, it's Bill from High Volume Games and welcome to another episode of Bill's Day Off. First off, thanks to everybody who's been watching. The views keep going up, the subscribers keep going up, and I can't thank you all enough. Uh, so, if you're a lot of you are like me, uh, you ordered High Life from Play Now uh, a few days ago once they released it, and you are just waiting for the postman to drop it off. So today I decided, well, let's do a quick little run through of Highlight using the printed play version from the uh, Black Friday sale and show you how it's done. Um, I did do a video of this earlier, but let's get a newer, uh, just a fun way to play and uh, help you out in case you want to learn how to play before the package arrives on your doorstep. So I got some cards. Some of the players' cards, uh, uh, and I got the dice. I got our board, or I got our score sheet. And that is really all you need to start. The, what's going to be cool is when the the new game comes. For those of you who didn't see the uh, awesome unboxing video, there's going to be play money. There's going to be AI solo betters that you can you know join to play. So it's going to be uh, really fun. Um, it's going to have boards and stuff. I'm just going to show you the quick way of how to play. And then, yeah, you'll see how fun it is and how simple it is. And that's the good part about it is very simple game. And then those extras that are going to come out in the game, in the, the new box uh, is going to just add to it. So we're going to pick eight. Okay, so our lineup for game one is going to be in the first position. It's going to be Renault, then Icarus, then Stefano, then Ferguson, then Stansberry, Kuba, Roebuck, and Ezekiel. So we're going to go, we're going to write this down in their post positions. So I put a picture up on the the corner there. That's what I, you know, a highlight uh, court looks like. And we are going to mimic that as we will have people serving, returning, and scoring points. And you can play this in a couple ways. You can play it as... Either you're doing a league to see which one of these guys is the better highlight player, or you can bet. And like I said, when the boxing comes, when the new box comes, uh, it's gonna have extra stuff for that. But so now we're gonna put in their values. Uh, that's their bet value on the bottom of the card. Uh, as you see, Renault is a bet 20. So we'll put 20 for him, 22 for Icarus, 11, Stefano, 16, Ferguson, 24 for Stansberry, 16 for Kuba, 26 for Roebuck, and 30 for Ezekiel. So now what we do is we take this odds guide and we we check it out. We go, okay, Okay, who is our highest rated? Well, our highest rated is Ezekiel, uh, but he's in position 8, so he's going to be a 4 to 1 odd. Our second best is actually also in position 7, or oh, he's in 7, uh, is Roebuck, so he'll be a 5 to 1. Um, our third best is Stansberry in uh, position 5, he will be 5 to 1 as well. Um, our next best is Icarus, who is the fourth best in the second, when the first or second position, so he'll be five to one. So a lot of five to ones here. Uh, Renault is next. 
Renault is the fifth best in the first position, so he'll be six to one. Uh, then we got two 16s, so they'll be the sixth best. Uh, and they're both in positions four through six, so they'll be both 10 to one. And last will be Stefano. He's in the third position, so he'll be 16 to one. So now you can bet on win, place, show, exacto, which means you're going to bet the first and second place guy. Uh, you can do the Quinella, which is two players, but they can be in any order. Uh, or the trifecta, which is all three. Uh, they can be in any order. They can be first, second, third. It doesn't matter. Um, so we'll just throw out a bet. And, you know, with what I like again, like the play money is going to come out. You're going to have money in your hand to bet. You know, so you got to, because you could like right now be like, eh, I'm just going to bet all long shots. Well, but if you get that money in your hand, you're going to be like, eh, I don't know. I don't want to waste my money. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll throw a bet out for Icarus to win. And I'll put $20 on Icarus to win. Okay. So we know that Renault is going to serve first. Icarus is going to be uh, returning. So now when you serve, you have three, three things could happen. A good serve, a bad serve, or an ace. So... As you see on Icarus's card, or no, Renault's card, sorry about it, uh, he's either going to ace on a 5 and a 7, he's going to bad serve on an 8, or any other number is going to be just a good serve. So you, in his case, he just doesn't want an 8. <sighs> he would, wouldn't mind a 5 or 7. So we're going to roll. If it's a good serve, it goes to Icarus. If it's an ace, Icarus just gets taken out. If it's bad, Icarus moves to the serve. The game is to seven. Uh, in the first go around, it's one point. And if there's two. Uh, well, in the second go around and on, it's two points. So here we go. Uh, oh, it's a seven right off the bat. Renault is going to ace Icarus. That's not good for me. <laughs> one point for Renault and Icarus. Goes to the back. Stefano up. Uh, Ten. That's a good serve. So now we look at Stefano's return, which is two to six. It's a five, so good return. Now we go to Renault six to eight. It's an eleven, so no return. So Renault will now go into the pile. Stefano moves to the serve. Ferguson is up, and Stefano gets the point. Stefano, the, the underdog right now, the 16 to 1, getting a point. He's got a he's got a bad serve rating of 7, though. So uh, He rolls a 5, so it's good. Goes to Ferguson, 6 to 8 return. He rolls a 6, that's good. Back to Stefano. Uh, Stefano rolls an 8, so he loses. So now it's Ferguson. Ferguson gets that first point. He's going to go up against Stansbury. Ferguson's got an ace of a 10 and a bad 4. Uh, it's a 12, so it's a good serve. Stansbury 4 to 8, rolls an 8, so it's good. Good return. Ferguson rolls a 3, so he will lose the point. Stansbury gets the point. Goes to the serve. And Kuba comes in. So Stansbury, who's the uh, 5 for an ace, bad 10, rolls a 6 for a good serve. Now Kuba's got a return of 2 to 6 or an 11. Uh, he rolls a 7, so that's not good. Stansbury can get the point. Kuba. Stansbury now takes the lead. Roebuck. Uh, so Stansbury rolls a 9. That's good. 
Uh, four to nine for Roebuck to return. It's an eight. That's good. This could go for a bit. Four to eight for Stansbury. He rolls a three. No, Stansbury gets out. So Stansbury loses the point. Roebuck gets the point. And it's Ezekiel. Now Roebuck is at 10 for an ace and 8 for bad. He rolls a 7. That's good. 3 to 9 for Ezekiel. Uh, Ezekiel 7. That is a return. Roebuck's 5 is returned. Ezekiel's 6 is returned. A good volley here. Roebuck, 10. No. So Ezekiel will score the point. He gets the serve. And we will go to round two with one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six people already at points. Uh, and it's going to go to Renault now. Ezekiel versus Renault. Renault has a point. Ezekiel has a point. But now it's two points for every uh, point. Two. So... As you go across a 7, his bat is a 12, so you're good there. Renault 6 to 8. It rolls an 11, so he does not get it. Renault is a very good server, but not a returner. So he's going to lose. Ezekiel's going to get three po or two points, now up to three. It's up to my man, Icarus. Uh, Ezekiel rolls an 11, he's good. Icarus returns with a 10, no. So Icarus does not get any points. Ezekiel gets two more. He's at five. If he get, beats Stansberry on this one, he would take the win. Uh, Ezekiel rolls a seven. That's a good serve. Stansberry four to eight to continue. It's a six. He's good. Ezekiel three to nine. He gets a three. Again, four to eight to continue. Our game's over. It's a six, but it's a double six, which now means that Ezekiel will lose one of his returns. It's now a three to eight. And he rolls a ten. Stansbury gets Ezekiel out. So Stansbury gets two points. Stefano up. Uh, Stansbury, oh, rolls a bad, he rolls a 10, he's a 10, he gets a bad one, Stefano gets the two points. Okay, so Stefano up against Ferguson, right now Ferguson has one point, Stefano has three. Uh, Stefano with a nine, good serve, Ferguson six to eight. He gets the eight and it's a double, so now it's two to five for Stefano. It's a two and it's a double, so it's now a six or a seven for Ferguson. He rolls the six. <laughs> he rolls a four. It's still good. Oh, Ferguson rolls a 12, so Stefano getting the point. Stefano now to uh, five, so if he gets the... the the next point, he would win. Kuba up. Uh, Stefano rolls a two. That's a good. Um, three is good on Kuba. Stefano's four is good. Oh, Kuba rolls a seven, and it is over. And a very long shot here. Stefano is going to win, and actually we, our first, second, and third is we would play out if there was any ties, but we don't have any ties. Uh -huh. So what's going to happen is Stefano in position three is our winner. Our place is Ezekiel in position eight, and our show is Stansbury in five. So we'll look at our how to bet. Um, so if a person is going to 
win if the person wins, so we'll say so say the bet so say we're basing this off ten dollar bets, even though I put a twenty dollar on Icarus. Uh they were basing this on a for ten dollar uh that um you win the multiplied by the odds plus the bet. So if ten dollars is the average bet, um our friend Stefano at sixteen to one. Gets set one hundred and seventy dollars for that ten. Sorry. Um our plate now his place is half of that, or it, it's half of the so sixteen to one, so that's eighty plus the ten, so his place is ninety. His show is a quarter of that, so it's forty plus the ten fifty. Uh, now we put on place um, eight, so Ezekiel was four to one, so it would have been forty. Um, so by half is twenty, so he would have made thirty dollars. Um, and his show would have been twenty dollars. And number five, Stansbury would have made fifty dollars. Uh, that would drop to twelve fifty. And so his his show would have been twenty two fifty. Um, the exacta is multiply. The win odds of the two players and double the result plus the bet. So they were 20 to 1 times 2 plus the bet. So it would have been $410 for the exacta. The quinella is add the win totals. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh. The exacta is multiply the win odds. So, no, their win odds are even higher because there was a 60 to 1 times a 4 to 1, uh, which is 64. Multiply the win odds of the two players and double the row. So, 64, 128. So, 1,000. Two hundred and ninety dollars for that uh, odds. Wow, <laughs> for that exacta. Now your quinella is add the win odds of the two players and then double the result. So that's the one we were just doing. So it's twenty. Uh, so twenty. Uh, then double that. So two hundred. Double that. 410 for the quinella and the trifecta add the wins of all three and double so it would be 25 double that would be uh, 510 all right so that is game one of our night at the uh at the highlight we are down 20 bucks <laughs> we'll do one more game and we'll uh, call it a day let's hope we can make our money back right make a little extra so our eight people that are going to play in this round are Sadiq Roberto Gilmore Felker Zawicki Javier, Schaefer, and David. Sadiq, 26 value. Uh, Roberto, 12. Gilmore, 30. 
Felker. 13. Zawicki. 12. Javier. 21. Schaefer, 28. And David, 27. All right, so we know for a fact that Gilmore is going to be our favorite. Um, he's going to be the highest rated, and he's 3-1. to one. Um, Our second highest rated is Schaefer in position 7. He will be 5-1. to one. Uh, David will be 6-1. to one. Um, Sadiq is actually... Even though he's fourth best, is going to have the tied for the second best odds at five to one because he's in that first position. Um, Twenty one is next. Javier is the fifth best and sixth, so eight to one. Then Felker is sixth best at ten to one, and then we'll actually have. Uh, they'll both be seventh highest. Um, so Roberto will be seventh highest at ten to one, while Zawicki will be seventh highest at twelve to one. He'll be the long shot. So we'll bet. Let's bet ten dollars on Gilmore, the favorite, to win. Let's do a Quinella of three and eight. So Gilmore and David. All right, Sadiq is up. Against Roberto, Sadiq is a 2-4, two, 2-plus-4 four, two four ace, so 2 over 4, with an 8 as a bad. He rolls a 7, it's a good turn. Over to Roberto, 2-6, to six, return. He's a 6, return. Sadiq is a 3-8 to eight and an 11, just rolled an 11, so it's good. Uh, Roberto, 2-6, to six, it's a 3, it's good. Oh, Two for Sadiq. He will not get the point. Goes to Roberto. All right, here's Gilmore. We need a good run from him. Uh, the good thing for him is he's got a return of four to ten. So as, Robert, as long as there's no double, a two eights here, he's okay. That's uh, a seven. Good, good serve. Gilmore rolls a nine. That's good. Two to six return for Roberto. He rolls a six. It's good. Gilmore, 4 to 10. He rolls an 8. Back to Roberto. He rolls a 5. It's good. Gilmore again, 4 to 10. He rolls a 10. It's a double. So now it's 2 to 5 on Roberto. And Roberto rolls an 8. So Gilmore gets the point. Uh, that is a point for Gilmore. Now, this is a part. Gilmore's got a serve, a bad serve of seven, so that's not good, but hopefully he can get around it. He's got an ace of four and ten, so maybe throw a few fours out there. Uh, his first rolls a three, that's good. He takes on Felker's two, two and six. He rolls a five, that's good. That return of four to ten is good with a four. Two to six. Oh, he rolls a seven, so Felker loses the point. Gilmore gets the second. So Wiki up now. Gilmore. Oh, Gilmore rolls a seven. It's bad serve. Darn it. <laughs> All right, so Wiki up. So Wiki gets that point. He's going to go up against Javier. He's got a bad seven as well. Uh, he rolls a ten. That's good. Javier's a two to a seven. It's a seven. That's good. Ricky's an 8 to 11, and he rolls a 12, so no. That's a point for Javier. Javier 
over. Schaefer now up. Uh, four. That is a good serve. Five to a ten. Schaefer rolls a seven. That's good. Javier, two to a seven, rolls an eleven. So no, Schaefer is going to get the point. Now here comes David. He's the second half of my, uh, my Quinella. No. Yes, my Quinella. Um, Schaefer rolls a 9. That's good. Uh, David, 2 and an 8. For his return, he rolls a 7. He's good. Schaefer is 5 to 10. It's a 7. That's good. Back to David. Uh, the rolls a 9. That's not good. Schaefer gets the point. And one of my Quinellas gets no points. Right, so we are back to section or round two, two points, and Schaefer in control here. Uh, Schaefer was a 12, which is good. Sadiq with a five, he's three to eight plus 11, so that works. Schaefer is a five to 10, rolls an eight. Sadiq was three to 11, three to eight plus 11 gets a four, that's good. Schaefer. Rolls a 7, that's good. Sadiq rolls an 11, which again, he's 3 to 8 plus 11, so it works. Uh, Schaefer rolls out of his range, so Sadiq gets the point. Oh, he gets the 2 points, my, my apologies. So Sadiq gets the 2. So Robert, Sadiq versus Roberto. Uh, it's a seven. That's a good serve. Roberto two to six rolls a nine. So no. Sadiq now four points going up against Felker. Uh, rolls a four. That is an ace. As Sadiq is two and four. So now it is game point basically. It is Sadiq versus Gilmore. Two to four would win it. He rolls a seven. It's a good serve. A four, anything outside of four to ten would win. Huh? It's a seven. That's good. So he rolls a seven. That's also good. Back to Gilmore, who rolls an eight, which is good. Oh, big save by Zadig, who, again, three to eight plus eleven rolls an eleven. Uh, Gilmore rolls a 9. That's good. Uh, Sadiq rolls an 8. That's good. What a folly. 7 is good. He took a play for a while. 5 is good. 5 is good on Gilmore. 6 is good on Sadiq. I'm throwing dice. It's so crazy. 8 is good as it's double. So now it's 3 to 7 plus 11. It's a 7. It's still good. Seven is good. Oh my goodness. Seven is good. Eight is good. Twelve is not. Oh, what a volley. But Sadiq gets the double sixes. Gilmore will get two points. To bring him to four. This is not looking good for my Quinella, by the way. Because... Uh, David getting no points and Sadiq getting six points. It's very likely Sadiq would either win, is either going to come back and win later on or finish second. <laughs> come on, Gilmore. Give me my doubles. You could win this. Just run the board. Uh, he rolls a six. Good serve. Zawicki so rolls a four. He's an eight to 11, so no. So that is now two points for Gilmore. Oh, he is at 6. This could be game point. If he rolls a 4 or a 10, he would ace and get the win. He rolls, oh, he rolls the 7, which is as bad. So he doesn't get it. Javier gets 2 points. Now technically, technically I still win this, uh, this uh, run because with Gilmore being now tied for first, if David were to, you know, just say run the table, <laughs> we would actually have a shot for the Quinella. 
Um, Javier rolls an eight. David rolls an eight with a double, so it's now two to six for Javier. And Javier rolls a ten, so David gets the points. Now he's got to run the table here. <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> David. Uh, he rolls a good serve. Schaefer is a five to ten. He rolls a six. It's good. David two to any. Rolls a five. It's good. Schaefer is an 11. That is not good. David gets two more points. He's at four. He's going to go up against Roberto. Uh, he rolls an 11. That's okay. I got nervous because he's a 10, and I saw a whole bunch of uh, pips. So, uh, Roberto, 2 to 6 is a 10, so no So that gives David six points. Felker up. If he rolls a five, it's game point. It's a nine, so it's okay. Uh, two to six for Felker, or the game is over. It's a five. The game continues. David, two to an eight. It's an eight, so it is a double. So now it's a two to five for Felker. And he rolls a six. Wow, that double came in handy. David wins the game. And we have a tie uh, for second and third. So we are going to put Sadiq and Gilmore. They have to play off. We know that David is the eight. This is what I need. I need Gilmore to win. Just one one ball, but if he rolls a two or a four, it's over. Uh, he rolls a ten, that's good. Now four to a ten for Gilmore. Remember, these were the two that had that really crazy volley earlier. Six to ten. Six is good. Three to eight with eleven. Seven is good. Uh, seven is good on Gilmore. Three is good on some D. Gilmore rolls a double. Eight or a double four eight, so that makes it three to seven. Uh, it's a five. No, there's a nine. That's good. Oh, it is not good for Sadiq with the eight, because he's three to seven at this point. So he is going to be out. Gilmore gets the second place, which means I'm going to win some money, which is cool. Not as much as I would have won if uh, if Gilmore had won the. <laughs> so let's do the. Uh, let's do the bets. Uh, so if you were David and you bet ten dollars, or you you were betting on David and you bet ten dollars, you would have won seventy bucks. Uh, which means you would have won forty bucks for place. And, oh, you're going to make me do mad 25 bucks on show. Um, Gilmore would have paid 25 bucks for a place. And, wow, this is going to be fun. Uh, 30 divided by 4 is 750 Yes. Okay. So seventeen fifty. Did you see the smoke coming from my ears? Um, and Sadiq is twenty two fifty. And the exacto. So we're gonna multiply the two, which is this one's not as bad because uh, again they were pretty favored. Uh, Eighteen. So. 360 plus the bet, 370. Then we're going to add the bet for the Quinella, which is 90 uh, plus, it, oh, it's 90 and then double. So 180, so it's 190. Ninety times two 
like 180 plus the bet, 190. And trifecta of 831, 6, 9, 14. Double that, it would be 290. Okay. So let's see. We we started with 100. We lost 20 on our bet from Icarus in the game one. We gained, well, we lost 20 in our bets here. So we were at 60, but we gained 190. So we're at 250. So we gained 150 bucks for the day. What a day. I'm going to Dairy Queen because if you're going from Newport, you know, back to where I am, you're going to go past the Dairy Queen. I'm getting myself a blizzard. It's a great day. All right. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. As I said, if you haven't ordered it, um, I'll put a link in the description, but Highlight is now available in the physical box form and print and play with the new stuff. But uh, yeah, it, I would definitely go check it out. I cannot wait. We'll have an unboxing as soon as it comes in. Um, and then we'll play some more, uh, especially now that we'll have the cash. Um, <laughs> so, uh, thank you all again for watching. Uh, take care. We'll have some more, uh, videos coming up very soon. Um, especially next week. Um, uh, we'll have a bunch of videos coming out hopefully. Uh, so till then take care and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.